was random chance, timing. You were there. You were looking. I was there. I'd almost given up, but yeah, I was looking. And you blew my mind. Intensity, arousal, ecstasy, ecstasis, out of station, no. I was like a kid. It was like being drunk all day for weeks, for months. Suddenly, words like communion and blissful insanity weren't big enough, weren't charged enough. It was... It was an ache. An exquisite... The sublime madness. You said it was like swallowing a helium balloon that gets stuck right here. Obsession. Obsession. Worry. Obsessions. Passion. Great word, passion. Babbling. I'm. I. I am. Um, I need you to remember what it was like to remember, don't you? Okay, let's do it. I know it's crazy, I don't care. No, I've been looking at this thing. If I can get, just a minute, plane out tonight, right after the shot, uh, counting changeovers, I can be there for two days. I know, I know. I don't care, I have to see you. It's Peter. What is? I've been trying to call you all morning. I've got the crew waiting in the lobby. I gotta get going. We're on. Me too. Bye-bye. Cut! Okay, it's a wrap. Give a sec. You must be kidding. That's not what we wanted. It's my call, Peter. Doesn't this sound familiar? Flight will always fascinate, perhaps because we all aspire to that which we lack. Here's your direction. The plane lifts off with power and grace as a child looks on in awe. Well, there wasn't a lot of power and grace there. It's a wrap. We can get the main airport tomorrow. I can't. I have to go. The final shot of a documentary about flight and you're not even going to use a half-decent airplane? It's important. And this isn't?
suppose it's something you get used to. Being a hack, a professional joke. The thing is gutless. Power and grace. What do I know from power and grace? Sure, I was distracted. I always have some perfectly plausible excuse why it couldn't be beautiful. I thought it was greedy to expect to be at the height of your field and also be madly, passionately, and hopelessly in love. Half decent job and a convenient coexistence are hard enough to find, but if you want the extremes, you gotta put the blinders on. As for uh, babies, I thought I had a few more years. Still a few more years. I don't want to get into that one. I, I can't. I can't. Anyway, I turned into a good little modern woman. I, I gained economic freedom. I uh, cultivated the few skills I thought I might have and developed a professional sense of self. I, I worked hard. My motives were uh, pretty muddy, really. I wanted approval. I. Uh, you know, maybe there was a little bit of ego mixed in. But if you were to ask me why I made the choice, it was because I had, I have, a fundamental, undeniable need to make things any way I can at any cost, to communicate what I think is important or beautiful or, or just neat. I was trying to show you how I learned to cook. I even took a course. Look at the uh, it doesn't matter. I just, I wish I was two people, you know. Could you, could you hold on just a sec? Why don't we uh, lose this and go to after she does that nervous giggle? You know, she gets back on the point. Okay. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Do I have to apologize for the fact that I'm not a genius and it takes me time? So do relationships, I know. I do know. 
I've had a lot of successful relationships. And that hurt, by the way. Yeah, you, you got me good. Yep. Yeah. Oh, let's just stop, okay? I'll stop and you stop and we just... Well, hold on. Shit. Hold on. Honey, I'm sorry. I... I never showed you this, did I? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we return to the International Cinema Awards. Our next nomination for Best Documentary is a film called Flight. This unusually poetic exploration of humanity's relationship with the sky is a striking departure for a director well-known worldwide for elegant and exquisitely logical science documentaries. And the winner of the International Cinema Award for Best Documentary is Flight by Anna Louise um, Vogel. No, um, Vogel. Something just snapped that evening, walking alone in the parking lot with my new little friend. Something new appeared on my to-do list. You.
Hi, it's me. Anna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just thought you... Oh, yeah. Just thought you were coming to the party. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, no, I understand. I just thought we were going to uh, get a chance to talk. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I understand, sure. Yeah, I gotta get going too, yeah. Okay, well, no, it's okay. Mm hmm. So thanks for calling. I mean, um, you know what I mean. Of course, sure. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. See you. Bye bye. It's terrible music, you know. If you knew it, sorry, I don't mean to insult you, but I mean, if you knew the kind of music, I mean, it's shit, really. It's just, you know, and I played that song. I don't get, it is, no, no, it is shit. If you knew anything about music, you would understand. I mean, not to insult you or anything, but really, it's, it's just, it's I can't stand opinions, you know. Everyone's got these goddamn opinions, you know. They keep, they keep going over and over. And I, Entirely my fault. Look, no, I'm, I just, real, I'm just I'm too, really, I'm too really sorry. I'm, 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 I'm okay. I got. I got. I think you're great. Okay. Are you okay? You sure. Look at me. I get mail. messages on my answering machine. I dabble in the modern vices. I have challenging work. Interesting friends. Stimulating hobbies. And I couldn't be lonelier if I was dead.
didn't see you there. Oh, thank you. I bought it myself. After all, have you? We dance so well together, don't we? I'm gonna be frank with you. All right? And you can be Barbara. you in the morning. I thought it was my fault, you know. I didn't blame you for leaving me, Christ. I would have left me. I would dearly love to place the blame somewhere, anywhere, in society or the gods or something, but. Maybe what this whole thing is really about is me finally being able to say to you without fault and without blame, it's over. Yeah. 